Zooming is an American television program for ages 8 and up, created almost entirely by children. It originally aired on PBS from January 4th, 1999 to May 6th, 2005. It was a remake of a 1972 TV series by the same name. Both versions were produced by WGBH TV in Boston. Zoom also aired on the Latin American and Canadian versions of Discovery Kids. Season 1 cast Zoe, Castillo, Jared, Kiko, Pablo, Alyssa, David, and Lenise. So, where are they now, 20 years later? Season 1. Don't act like you don't want to hear what I got to say. I agree. <laughs> baby and you watched PBS you know exactly what I'm talking about yes that's right I'm talking about zoom first season okay now I am excited to do this because like this generation this day and age you guys have no idea what you're missing out on if you do not know zoom I'm Whitney D and I am giving you an update on the first season cast of zoom now First up, Pablo. <laughs> What's going on with Pablo now? I'll let you know that Pablo is married, okay? He's married and he um, has a daughter named Lily. He's married to wife Nicole Fellas. And I let you know this. <laughs> His wife is Nicole Vellas, like I said, or Vasquez. And she is the producer of Pinkalicious and um, Peter Riffick on PBS, right? But the plot thickens here. Why? She is also the producer of the highly controversial episode of Author. Yes, she is one of the producer and the brains behind the same-sex marriage of Mr. Redburn. Let's get on to Lenise Broder, or I think it's Broder, if you will. <laughs> now, she is going on Facebook as this. She, from what I saw, has two children, um, a girl and a boy. Now, it didn't show that she, um, her career or anything like that, but um, she does have children, and she's alive, and she's well. Now... We have to give a moment of silence to Jared Nathan, who died 2006, December 28, 2006, in a car wreck. Then we have David Taropov, a Taropov, or Taropov, you get the gist, it was David on the show. Now, I had a very hard time finding information out about David, but you could not get a hint, you could not hide. From me, mister. I found him now under the alias Dave. And Dave, I found he is arts development um, professional or um, one of the organizers of About Face Theater. Um, Dave is an arts development professional excited to be on the team at About Face Theater. He is a co-founder of Chicago Arts Access and the Chicago Community Bond Fund. Inspired and educated by his years of Chicago uh, activism, he enjoys using the principles and methods of collaboration and community building to provide a healthy structure and long-term sustainability uh, for local life arts programming. 
Previously, Dave gained arts fundraising experience at Goodman Theater, Chicago Shakespeare Theater, and served on the board of directors at Oracle Productions. Dave arrived in Chicago in 2011 after completing a bachelor's degree in literature at, Bo at Bard College in Annadale, O. Hudson, New York, and graduated from Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts. And this is where I got, I said, aha! He spent his youth in Massachusetts, sorry, I can't say that, I'm Southern, and New York acting and singing in many groups and theater productions, but realized by his early 20s that he most enjoyed being behind the scenes, making art financially possible for all of us. So there you have it. Um, and so I was like, good, because when I was doing my research and looking him up, I, I literally could not find anything, not a, not an Instagram, not a Facebook. And so I was like, okay, well, is everything okay with him? So there you go. To Alyssa Bisher, um, she was Alyssa on the show. <laughs> Had a kind of a hard time finding her. Now she does have an Instagram page. It was private, so I didn't get to get any information off of there. However, Google did the job and I found her link in professional information. So let's take a look, shall we? As of right now, it says that she is an artist, educator, and public programmer um, in greater New York City area. Into the swing of things with Kiko. Kiko Yashida. She was Kiko on the show, okay? And Kiko, um, I couldn't find anything current with her, I looked up everything, Instagram, Facebook, etc. But I did find this on online um, um, by way of BDC Wire. And it said that Kiko moved to Connecticut where she currently teaches in a private school and that's probably why I couldn't find the school or any information of her work. Although she is no longer acting, she is still recognized by her students and coworkers for her role on the show. So Kiko is still alive and well. Now let's get to Zoe. Zoe Castillo is a mother of two, um, a girl and a boy, and she works. I think she's actually the creator of BarkBox. And what is BarkBox, you ask? Well, BarkBox is located in New York, New York. And um, it is uh, what I read to be a, a box of high quality dog products. Um, it's delivered uh, to your door each month. So I think it's a subscription box for your dog. So I think she's the um, creator or the owner of that um, uh, bark box. So there you have it. Come on and zoom. Come on and zoom. Come on and zoom. Uh huh. Zoom was a great experience for me in the 90s like i ran home to watch the show and to be honest with you the seasons kept going on but i was really connected to season one and when things start changing of season two i was like what is going on like where are my characters where where is lanice and it's my girls you know where's the black girl that i can relate to they kept it alive and kept it real they educated me and so this generation is really missing out but that's it for me. I hope you love the review. I think it's been like over, wait, this, they went from 1999 to 2006 and they stopped and we're in 2000, whoa, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there everybody's alive and well for the most part, except for Jared who had uh, untimely demise in 20, uh, 2006, but everybody else seems to be getting older and doing just fine you know you can find them so um, I hope this really um, was able to tickle a lot of my 90s people's fancy because I'm just like man I'm just reminiscing you know what I'm thinking of doing some reviews or some updates or where are they now 90s shows that um, are no longer around like puzzle plays like between the lions and um i don't know if you guys know or whatnot but the big comfy couch we all know about that thank you guys so very much this has been reviews with whitney d i'm whitney d 
and now it's your time did you like the update was there something that i left out was there more would you like to have heard is there another season of zoom you want me to do an update on let me know in your comments below while you are there please take out the time to subscribe if you are already subscribed please do not forget to ring my bell and know when i know and get the notifications now also if you like what you've seen and what you heard please give me a thumbs up if you did not it's okay i'll take the thumbs down just let me know that you were here thank you again for tuning in i am whitney d with reviews with whitney d bye <laughs>